it is time for an upgrade. When I'm talking upgrade, I'm talking about my simulator room flooring. It's good, but there's just some issues with it that I, I don't want you to have if you're looking at some any type of flooring for whatever room, room size you have. You, you want it to be perfect the first time. <clears throat> Here's issue one I have. This, I, it's, they're two different sizes or levels. Like this comes up. I'm not a big fan of that. And, and here's why. Like, let's say I want a pot. I'm, I'm limited in what I can do. Like I can't do that. I just have to be way over here. I'd like to have at least an option of a 20 foot pot. I've got a pretty big space here. So we don't, can't do that. Next issue is this. Now, this sounded like a great idea at first. The, the place I hit and make contact with the ball, that this would move and act more like a divot or like the turf, right? But in reality, it one, it makes a ton of noise. So for videos and stuff, it's not great. Two, it wears out pretty quickly. And so you have to replace some. You could turn it around, but that, that's not good. And this is the reason you need the, the two layers. So I'm not, it's not my favorite. And then it adds another issue here. Watch, you're hitting your irons here and you tee up here. And then the problem with TrackMan is you have to realign TrackMan when you hit driver. So I gotta constantly readjust everything. I'd love it to be able to just, you know, put a T in here and go. I think this also messes with some of the numbers occasionally because this goes down and so the ball is actually hovering in mid air. And so I, I, that could, cause it wouldn't do that in reality, the, the, the ground wouldn't move. The ball would never leave the turf. Here it actually leaves the turf and then you hit it. So it could cause some misreads occasionally. So I'm, I, we need something better. And because of the levels, we have to take the turf, set the track man on it. So it's the same level as where you're making contact with the ball. So at the PGA show this year, I was impressed with the quality of the turf and hitting structures, like literally in almost every, you know, display where you could hit balls there. It was, it felt amazing. It was like highest quality that you could imagine. And I was like, that's what I want in my studio. Who does this? And I met, the company that did it. This company right here, SimTurf. I will leave a link in the video description below. And so I talked to them and it just sounded, well, it sounded too good to be true. So I was like, I gotta, we gotta check this out. So these guys do all kinds of stuff. They got hitting mats, they have putting greens, and they have simulator turf. So whatever area you have, they will custom make it to fit your space, which is exactly what I need. So I went through the process, got them on the phone, gave them the dimensions of my room. They sent me a diagram of what they put together. I was like, okay, let's tweak it a little. And they're like, okay, here you go. This will be it. They gave me a quote and I was like, okay, let's do it. So for everything here delivered, the custom turf, the underlining stuff, the hitting mat, everything. We're looking at $4,163.50. So expensive, but I got a large giant space. So that's just gonna give you an idea. We're 20, how wide are we? Mine is 22 feet in total length and 20 feet width. And what I'm told is that it gets delivered and that you 
can literally install this stuff yourself. <laughs> or what you can do is call a local carpet installer in your area, anybody who knows how to do carpet, and you're set. And this stuff could just drop right in there, lay it down, and basically you're good to go. So we're gonna try to do it ourselves. We, we could do it. But first, we gotta clean out the room. I got problems. Okay, so step one is now that we're cleaned up, we're gonna, um, and when I say we, I mean Sky, is going to start taking the stuff out of here. Go. This, uh, also, what we're dealing with here in the, in the previous, in the old carpet was that these fringes, one, they grow two different directions. And they don't grow, but you know what I'm talking about. And we have all these little pieces cut out. So we have all these little gaps. Well, with what we're getting, the fringes are sold as side pieces and uh, width pieces, so side and ends. And they all grow in the same direction and they're gonna be in one strip. So no longer are we gonna have like piecemeal, different color, different direction and pieces. Hopefully, the delivery comes on time. Also, upgrading the lighting. We needed a uh, impact light to get even better numbers than we had before. So, this TrackMan impact light shines down on the ball so that we don't miss even one little nugget of spin club data. There. Don't fall off. I don't have insurance. It's oh. <laughs> a brave man right there. <laughs> he almost lost it. Awesome. Ooh, here we go. All right, step one, we've got all these tiles. They go down first. We didn't have any of this before. So these go down and we're gonna kind of formulate it up. And they piece together like so. This process should be pretty simple. For most people. Not for me, but for you probably. All right, we got all the first layer down. You know, I, I feel like we're going from like the Corn Fairy Tour to the PGA Tour level, or the Live, whatever, or both, whatever. We're go basically, we're going from pretty good to the ultimate level. You see what I'm talking about? It comes in one piece. So this will be the end, and it's all gonna look perfect. No wrinkles in it, no mismatched direction, no seam lines, because it's one piece. I have a lot of angles here on the back wall, so we just lay the side down and uh, just kind of measure it out. And I cut the, you just cut the back of the uh, side turf and turf and lay it in. That's a good fit. We're gonna get some double-sided tape to put down here that comes with everything so that will secure everything down. But we're getting the right fit first. So as you can see, here's where the end piece meets the side piece. And because it's one piece and the grains are going specific directions based on end and side cuts, it just seamlessly grew in meshes from end to side, right here. Because here's the cut. You probably didn't even know what a cut was, did you? you couldn't see it, it's right here. All right, we got the roll in. Now it's just time really to roll it out and fit it into place and we're basically almost ready to go. Look at that, see how easy that is? Double-sided tape, so the fringe will stick in right there, won't be coming up, and then we'll lay it down um, so it connects to the um, putting turf as well. Every shipment, I guess, comes with enough double-sided tape for your job, so. I haven't got, haven't go to Home Depot yet. We're coming close to the home stretch. 
Uh, I've got a tape measure down, measuring track man to hitting zone to Matt, make sure all their numbers are correct. Sim turf uses the easy T hitting turf and that's what TrackMan uses in all their simulator rooms, is that. So SimTurf, uh, is, that's what they use. So we're all set. We got the best of the best of the best. And what we're gonna do, they sell, uh, SimTurf sells a, like a four by 10 mat, which I have, but I think I'm gonna cut it to like a, a, a two by whatever a size so that I can just have multiple for, you know, I hit a ton of shots. So if any ever need to replace it after it wears out, I've got more. Plus they sell packs of those things anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But just calculating where to put it. So it's in the perfect position for you guys. All right, this is our spot here. And so what we're gonna do is go around and just, um, I'm drawing a Sharpie line to where we're gonna cut out the, uh, the putting turf and sink in our uh, sim turf, um, easy T hitting mat, two by four. Now, a lot of people ask like, well, why don't you just get a one by two or one by one or small? The little ones will fly around unless you like totally like nail it dead. So you don't want that. You need a little bit bigger so you have more room to hit the ball. They'll last longer. Things like that. So don't cheap out and get the tiny ones or try to manufacture or cut it so you think it's the last longer. It's not gonna last longer. You're just gonna hit in one spot all the time and you're gonna be disappointed in yourself. Don't do that. Okay, make sure I did a good job. <sighs> Woo, look at that. Here's where a lot of people um, make mistakes. Watch. You can't just put this in because it's too hot. You've got to now, after you cut the putting surface, you gotta cut the mat, the foam mat that we put in. And if you cheap down and you got some knockoff version of the mat because you wanted some different size, then uh, it's gonna cost you too because that's not gonna be the same size. So you gotta get the Sim Turf specialized uh, foam mats. They're specific for their room. So, if you want it to look cool and be level, get those foam mats, all right? Or if you save 45 cents, then um, you're gonna look ridiculous. So don't do that. You, you see the cushion on this thing. You're not gaining any extra cushion by keeping the cushion in there. This is your cushion. This is as good as it gets. Look at that. There's a point of diminishing return here. I mean, otherwise we'd have two feet of cushion. You don't need that. Oh, also, link in the video description below for a Sim Turf discount on all mats. So, you're welcome. What? Look at that, huh? A quick little uh, side note here, when you get it all in and you're moving around, it's gonna be super staticky. You shock the snot out of yourself all the time. So get a little downy anti-static softener, mix it in with some water, and we're gonna just spray it around the room. We're finally looking professional level, clean and mean in here. The final finished product. <laughs> planted three putting holes here. These two are seven feet apart. From here to the far one back there, we have 17 feet. And if we really wanna get cute, we can stretch this hole out to 20, going diagonal across the room and get a nice uh, 20 footer under our belts. Special thanks to SimTurf. Check them out. Link in the video description below. They walked me through the entire process from beginning to end so that nothing would get messed up along the way. And now we are all set up to not only continue to give you great content, but at an even much higher 
more refined and detailed level than ever before. You see, yep, those are the numbers from the wedges and everything else that we've been missing. And now we've got everything perfectly dialed in just for you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this was super helpful for you. Love you. See you soon.